Hi, my name is Elizabeth Gamble and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Wordle file to place on your web page using the Mac. The tutorials that I have placed on my web page already are PC and it's a little different on a Mac. So I just wanted to show you what we're doing. So to create a Wordle file, which is a cool page made up of a bunch of words that you pick, you go to wordle.net. Once at wordle.net, you click on create your own. And here it says paste in a bunch of text. And this is a free site, so you just command V. I've already, I already have text, and that is not what I want. That is the Wordle file that I saved before. <laughs> Imagine that Mrs. Gamble is just not there. Um, here's a UDL file that a, a page, a document that I wrote for a special ed class I took way back when in a land far away. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste in my text and I'm going to hit go. Also, if you have a blog, you can see you could paste in a URL and it would pull it up from your blog. It takes a couple of minutes to process. Well, not really a couple of minutes because then we'd be way out of time. But it does take a little bit to process. Sometimes not as slow as it's doing now. Hmm. Let's try this again. Paste. Go. Here we go. As you can see, it has created my Wordle. I can open in window, I can print, or I can randomize. I'm actually going to come up here to color. I'm going to go, you can see that they have some palette sets that have a black background. I'm going to organic carrot and put in a white background. I'm going to layout and I can have rounder edges of my type, my font, and my um, the way it's laid out. I uh, don't really like the layout, so I'm going to go at half and half. I kind of like any which way, which is kind of fun. It does like this. If you're not, if you don't like the rand, if you don't like the way the words are, you can hit randomize, and it'll change some of the words. It'll also change the font and how you had it. You can change your own font. I like grilled cheese. I think that's a fun one. I'm going to go back to my layout and go to any which way again. I'm going to go to color and I've got a little variation on my milk paints font. I'm going to go with wild variation. So that kind of changes the colors. I can print from here or I can save it on Jing, which I've done in the past. But if I print, it asks me an applet, and I say OK. And I'm not really going to print. I can save it as a PDF, or I can do it as a preview. Um, if you decide to use uh, Jing, you can sa it'll save it as a PNG file from here. From there, once it saves on your on your page as a, or on your desktop as a PNG file, you can go to preview. I'm going to open recent. I'm not going to open recent. I'm going to open. Go to my Turo. Go to Wordle 3, which is where I was. And I've got this. Now, I don't really like this, and I don't want the whole thing. I just want my Word page. So I'm going to go to select. I'm going to crop out most of it. As you can see, I cut, kind of cut off the word benefit, but that's okay. Once I've got where I want it cropped, I can move my pages in a little bit. And I can go up here to Tools, and I can crop. And then I want to save as, and I want to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to keep it as Wordle 3. And from there, I can upload it to my web page if I so choose. And that's how you make a Wordle for your web page.